Hey everybody, welcome back to another Stone Face Reactions. I'm Griffin, that's Shy, that's Theta, and we ah. are that's Theta, that's Shy, and oh, we are here to watch some Vidlin Saga. So good last time. You've never fucked this one up before. This is unchanged. No, this one's been messed up once or twice. I'm here to be wrong, alright? So, let's go ahead and see what everyone else has to say. People who are actually right are commenters. Earl time. Mason says, I've been looking forward to Theta's reaction to this episode since episode 6. Uh, and that was for episode 4? Yeah, the last one. Ah, alright. You got any uh, comments about your uh, commentary? I honestly don't remember what I was... <laughs> oh! That's right, the woman. Uh, remember when I was bitching about how Thorfinn let the old lady die that like took gave him shelter? Yeah. Yeah. And then he fucking has like a nightmare about it where he himself yeah. is killing her in the dream. And it's like, yeah. <laughs> Damn straight. You take you take mental accountability for that shit. Even if it wasn't you who did it directly, there's no way that old woman survived on foot against the raiding party she was already in the middle of. Nope. Vengeance has been served. Well, not really. It's just, again, it's good to see that Thorfinn is tearing himself up for things that he didn't tear himself up or even seem to care about at the time. Up next, Nandi Shrivastava says, Trivia! Seasons 2 starts one year from the Season 1 finale, so Thorfinn is 18 currently. Thank you. In Episode 6, there's also another one-year time skip, but oh. these aren't started in anime for some reason. Uh, aren't stated in the anime. Einar is probably one or two years older than Thorfinn. Einar's father was killed when he was a kid, so Thorfinn was also a kid. And also, he was kind by the uh was kind by the English, not Danes. I think found. Uh, as for his really mother and friend. sister, although they were uh, killed by Danes, when their village was getting attacked, the final events of season one were taking place. So Thorfinn has no hand in taking the lives of Einar's family. Well, thank you for that clarification because that is something that we've kind of been like trying to find out if that's a thing. I think it was direct response to our comments, yeah. because yeah. I don't remember who said what, but something about Thorfinn killing Einar's family came up. So this is clearly a defense of Thorfinn, the, yeah, the opening um, statement of the legal defense. It might have been me, but it also might have been Griff. I think mm -hmm. it was me, though, because I'd brought up that, like, oh, wouldn't it be crazy if, like, his family was, like, a victim of one of the raids that Thorfinn took place in? Well, you know oh, what? Yeah, a very yeah, it would have created that, like, connection. weird character, like, connection you know what shy griff has already stated they're here to be wrong let's just blame him all right screw you griff <laughs> there you go uh <laughs> up next jacob lukak says i don't think we can get much higher than thorfinn getting strangled end quote oh boy buckle up this farm has more drama cooking <laughs> i think that's something you said griff uh what, was it something I said? I swear I probably could have been I'm not being you. ironic due to my last statement about you being here to be wrong. I think this is <laughs> literally something you said during the scene or during the wrap-up. Uh, you know what? If we got more drama and Thorfinn is gonna suffer more for all of his life choices, you know what? I'm down for it. Let's do it. <laughs> you know, it doesn't yeah, make me think, lying. though. At some good. point, the narrative of the story can't be that you spend the rest of your life paying for the mistakes of youth? Because that is just a depressingly real message for, that would be, for yeah, an I anime wonder. that's probably directed at younger people. And I would watch 40 episodes of it. So Honestly, yeah, just but... based on how Thorfinn has kind of been presenting himself this season, I really feel like it's got to be a story about moving on and finding some kind of... Redemption? Or... Yeah, mm, we talked about like the cozy Maybe not even anime. Redemption? Redemption could be it, and I wouldn't necessarily even be upset with that. Mm -hmm. um, but I also can't find the word for what I'm looking for, so... I I can't remember what uh, we were talking about, Griff, what show. But the thing that comes back to me is that uh, one episode of Justice League uh, Unlimited I was talking about, yeah. where it's Plastic Man running around. And yeah, yeah. they're talking about someone who has to be put down, or someone who has to be stopped. And... Plastic Man just goes into this thing about second chances. He's like, Batman had to give me nine second chances before it sank in. 
<laughs> and it's like no the idea is that no one is beyond redemption no matter how bad they may seem at the front mm. sometimes right, it just right. takes a while I, I mean I think the thing we are rooting for here is like that at some point Thorfinn gets better and becomes a better person obviously yeah. right well, no, that's the, what we're waiting for the thing I'm waiting for is Vinland <laughs> <laughs> but, well before we get to Vinland we still have Project Doomcloud here who says just a few thoughts on your pre-watch comments. Uh, Canute appreciated Thorfinn's valor and helped him uh, help in bringing him to power, which is what kept him alive and sold into slavery as opposed to being put to death for assaulting him at the end of Season 1. It was just the way it worked out that he was on Ken uh, Kentel's farm, uh, given that Kentel, who is for the time a kind man and a real blessing of a master to serve under if you got to be a slave. Remember... Halfdan from season one and how ruthless he was. Also, do we really think that prison was that much of an option for him? Was that even a thing for long periods of time in the Dane Law? I suspect this warrior culture where life is very cheap only kept prisoners alive if there was some good reason to think that they might be worth a ransom. Otherwise, uh, they're just a drain on resources. Dead and buried in so much more is so much more convenient. <clears throat> Historically, you're absolutely right, Doom Cloud. Uh, rehabilitative prison didn't really come around until maybe like 1700s. Uh, and generally, yeah, you don't bother keeping around someone who's not worth anything. Uh, I believe uh, early law or like medieval era kind of law is generally we're going to go ahead and quickly give you a punishment and then you go back to work and get out of here. Because why would you pay to keep someone locked up and feed them if you're not going to care about what's going to happen to them later? That's valid. Uh, I'm yeah. just no historian and only understood the concept of throw him in the dungeon. You're not going to kill him. <laughs> well, I mean, if anyone started... said anything about prison, what I really meant was throw him in the dungeon. I merely <laughs> started thinking about Les Miserables. Like all the, you remember all those people that were doing uh, the work of pulling the ships into the harbor while oh, they were singing the songs? It's like, yeah, it's like, oh, uh, what era was that supposed to take place in? It's during the, the one of the Napoleonic Wars, I'm sure, but I can't remember when that took place. Uh, I find how often that gets referenced here. It's a very, I love it, so I can't help but reference it. I look, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm just like, I'm just like, hang on, didn't we reference that one last time too? I am a man of very limited means, mentally, so I only have so many references to work with. You're lucky it's not a Star Trek reference. Yeah, then I'd be even more lost. Speaking of references, let's reference what happened last episode, which is episode Smooth 4. transition. Awakening. Yeah, I got it. Uh, after Snake reprimands his men for mistreating the slaves, he introduces himself to Thorfinn. He suddenly draws his sword, but this time Thorfinn reacts and blocks Snake with a powerful kick, revealing that he still has a will to live. Arnheid tells uh, Pater about the incident, and he treats Thorfinn's wounds, but Thorfinn immediately heads back into the woods to continue tree felling. When Einar asks if he has been to war, Thorfinn replies he has uh, been at war since he was a child and killed more people than he can remember. That night, Einar wakes in a rage from his pent-up hatred of warriors and begins to choke Thorfinn, who at the same time is having a nightmare in which he is fighting demons who are trying to kill him. Einar starts choking Thorfinn, who wakes screaming with the memories of what he has done in his past, and thanks, I and thanks Einar for waking him up, but Einar berates him for what he sees as a selfish, nihilistic attitude, and they both try to get back to sleep. A final sheet... A final scene shows a white-haired ruler visiting a battlefield graveyard in the moonlight. Uh, and, of course, that's just Canute. I don't remember them being white-haired. Mm, you know, stress really gets to a person. No, I mean in the scene. I don't remember them being white-haired. Uh, Maybe like a dusty blonde, I think yeah, I remember. Yeah, blonde of some like type. Like I, I guess it could just be like the moonlight and the way the scene is lighting it, and the someone just went, "Oh yeah, he's pale white now." It's like mm, probably not. Well, I mean, sometimes people just grab like white-haired characters as like platinum blonde or some shit. But Canute, as I recall, in the scene was blonde, like yellow blonde. 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 Hmm. Who else could they be referring to then? Well, we're about I to mean, find out, right? I don't because know. Apparently, 
Floki was there, <laughs> right? And Floki <laughs> is also blonde. Here, tell yeah, you what. I'll, I'll blonde. go check the last second of the last episode right now. I'll tell you. I'll tell you right now. All right, go ahead and give us those deeds. What is everyone's hair color? Well, that was Floki. That's a, yeah, that's blonde. It's blonde, not white. All right. It just looks weird because the sky is red and there's fire going on, so it could look like the light was reflecting off of it, but it's 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 canoe. It's it's canoe. Yeah, so personal judgment call and uh they just throw it down. Makes sense. It's uh but yeah, no, we could begin we're gonna get more canoe. We're gonna get like the backstory and the info and what's happened in the last year. It's gonna be great. Uh y'all got any thoughts on all that? I mean, no, because this has been mostly an emotional ride, and I don't have much yeah. weigh in on narrative emotional rides. It might as well be in like the very last. We might as well be in a series of the very last episode of Evangelion. Mm -hmm. And like trying to guess what's going to go next in uh, Shinji's mind. All right, we just got through done with the clapping scene. What's the next emotional representation of Shinji's anguish and or acceptance of who he is? Uh, the giant dead ray rising out of the blood pool? Uh, no, that blood wasn't uh, representative. That was actually happening. <laughs> you know what? That's that's hard to digest when it comes to Evangelion. Uh, let's just say it was all a dream. But it wasn't that either. That. Ah, but any comments on the upcoming episode? Any thoughts or hopes that you expect before we get going? Um... I think maybe I'm going to ease up on Thorfinn a little bit. Uh, just a little bit. Because while we were talking talking about the whole like thing about redemption earlier and stuff like that, I was thinking, like, yeah, I don't really know if he necessarily deserves redemption. He did some pretty messed up stuff in the name of killing a guy. Oh, but, yeah. However, when you look at it from the perspective of he was a scared, lost, traumatized child, and now here he is, older, wiser, more jaded, more hurt over it and seeing him suffer it's like okay i think he Scared got it well i think he gets it so it's like you know you don't want to forgive him but it's like you you see that he's at least repenting so that makes you kind of want to be on his side a little bit you know even if it's from the point of i've given up because i deserve to give up yeah we're, we're seeing changes in him now at least he's becoming rapidly more sympathetic I guess I'm just updating you on my Thorfinn opinion, because it has been very passionate no matter where it's been. Well, before we give him too much credit, uh, let's go ahead and hit that <laughs> like button, hit that subscribe button, and comment down below to feed that algorithm. On top of all that, if you watch more shows like this, unfiltered, uncensored, and uncut as well as some early access stuff, you can check it out over the Patreon. It's just $5 a month, but no pressure. It's all the support the channel, just a little bit extra. Click the link below, join our Discord, let us know what anime characters you think could have been redeemed. Tag Theta by name and say hello. Hmm. Oh, they're just yep. going right into the opening this time. They said, nope, all the episode all at once. That's Garvet. right. Garvet, am I right? Hey, Theta, you know about that uh, who could be redeemed called Action? What show do you think has a character that you thought should have been redeemed? Uh, I'm, I'm assuming we're going to limit this to the shows that we've watched on channel. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and, like, narrow it down a tiny bit. The... The dad from uh, Tokyo 24th Ward. Yeah, I can feel you on that. I didn't implicitly disagree with his actions, so... I feel like he just needs redemption in the eyes of the uh, the city, and specifically the three main characters. Yeah, a lot of, uh... The stuff in that is basically just entirely his own trauma and just acting out on that, right? Well, then he also put his dead daughter into a machine, so... It, yeah, exactly. Ain't that just the way. Mm-hmm. Uh, Shai, you got any nominations? Um, no serious ones. <laughs> you know what? Unserious ones are also perfectly acceptable. Uh, I was gonna say the crazy space whale rock from, uh, Summertime Rendering. Oh, is that the same one from, uh, Gundam Seed? Did nothing wrong, just trying to survive. It's fair. Fade is like, I know you're being joking, but hold up. No, I don't... <laughs> Look, she was being manipulated by the monk guy, the immortal monk guy, so it's, it's legit. That's true. 
That's what true. What happens That's in that true. Maybe show. she really. Maybe that is a serious recommendation. Maybe I forgot to think about that part. She's just a kid. Oh, hold up! I just got myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Knut's got trauma too. Yeah, I was gonna say it's before the thing, because there's no eye, I mean, cheek. Mm -hmm. Man, Askeladd was tough. Already best character this season. Askeladd? <laughs> hey, he's in the season. It counts. あ、しらっと尋常ではない。刺激するな。王陛下にもしものことがあってはいかん。ああ。剣王様よ。さればこの比例は許そう。Look at that nonchalant grip on a sword. Well, I imagine he probably got trained in the school of drop sword pick up with other hand stab. Of course he did. Of course he did. There's no way. Ask Glad would absolutely do that just for the drama. Oh yeah, buddy! Head Second verse just as good as the first. <clears throat> oh, it just occurred to me he also dresses like a Roman senator. <laughs> right? But hey, it's been 400 years. He's gonna know what a Roman looks like. All the people who keep constantly worshipping Rome. Yeah, you're right. Uh, also, all the living Romans. And the Holy Roman oh. Empire. There are no Romans or Holy Roman Empire. What year is this? 1015? Yeah, so... Byzantine Empire still exists, right? Mm -hmm. Which is I don't know, I just remember Askeladd saying that uh, the Romans got wiped out 400 years ago. Well, again, Byzantine Empire is just East Rome, basically. Yeah, I don't know anything about history, I'm gonna be real, so you guys have to tell me like I'm dumb. Like a... <laughs> How does he look more like a girl with short hair? <laughs> He's practically got like a short Hime Bob, like what the hell? How did he get more feminine? Liu,それぞれが、イングランドを名乗り、王権の行方は再び不確定状態となる。相次ぐ戦乱に、イングランドは疲弊していた。ヘカ、お下がりを。大事ない。弱飲んでおらぬ。ヘカ、おじひよ。主イエスに誓って私は何も知らなかったんです。なんだ。この見物にどこなの。ヘカ、おじひよ。ですよ。ああ、ぜや
Yeah, it's pretty tough to make jokes when we're watching dead kids and everything. Yeah, gotta gotta kind of take the edge off of it. People aren't spoils. But at this point, there's so many beheaded heads on the roadside, it's hard to tell what's illegal anymore. <laughs> the only thing legal is being a head by the roadside. Loki, looking as rectangular as ever. Honestly, can't believe he dressed down for the occasion. He's got some angle in his jaw now too. しかし陛下、ご自身がお会いにならなくとも我々に任せていただければ。I know it says Mercia, but I keep reading it as America. America! <laughs> Thorfinn. I want to see Thorfinn. I'm going to go see my slave boyfriend. There he is! There he is! Go legend! <laughs> He's every bit as Majima as he is. Must appease that. <laughs> ah, he's so extra still. I love it. <laughs> Is he mad about Thorfinn being a slave? I bet he is. I don't know, it doesn't That's seem like him. He didn't care about that when he was gonna kill him. Well, no, it's someone he can fight. See? Someone stops the battles. Alright. Why does he hate frogs? He probably means the French. Oh. That's... Okay. <laughs> That makes sense. As long as he doesn't hate the little ribbit boys. そんなことだ。俺は忠実した戦争ライフを送れりゃいいんだよ。東の地で、エスルレッドの小江戸門が不穏な動きを見せております。どうか東部鎮定にお力をお貸しくださいませ。トルケルドの圧倒的な。パン
<laughs> I no okay, you're just veering off to be able to hit people. Yeah, it's Thorkel, baby. If he can't get some real war in, he might as well, might as well just bully. After like four episodes of just like calm farming, just getting the blast of Thorkel is like a 180. I was paying you this time. This dude's been a backstabber since. に<笑> <laughs> that ain't my money, bro. <laughs> also, if I just kill you now and take this. Ah, uh, yeah, you could have his cake and eat it. Oh, that's smurry. That was vicious out of Canood. Oh, Jesus, when did you enter the scene? Oh, we've gone back to the farm, but we still have like this dark droning music. Literally just walking all over their money. Ima Ichido Kiku Sonata wa Kono Kingin wo Watashiga Marcia Karadete Kukoto, Nozon de Shiharao no. Is what I just said. Ea Doriku. This dude is always so bug-eyed. Constantly surprised by everything. Oh, yo, he's really talking big now. よは世の領内の反乱を沈めるため、この地へ来たのだ。無心のためではない。タワゴト、我が君は由緒正しき目線を受け、エセルレット様だ。貴様などではない。これは予算か。しかし父上、ならん。時と場を分け。Look, I don't know who's going to win this particular argument. But I do know who ends up in charge of England. <laughs> I feel like that would be my position as a time traveler. Ho,心の広い。自らの配下が治療安堵のために勝手に戦列を抜けると申しても、エセルレットは許すのか? <laughs> And he's gonna break this dude. Hmm. <laughs> イングランドの未来を託すのは愚かなことだと思わぬか。
エアドリクエセルレットに消えたポイズン again 長年重心としてあやつに使えてきたそなたなら良い方法を知っていよう私から最後の中節まで奪うというのか若造その代わりマーシアは奪わぬエセルレットの首が大かだ得な買い物であろうが I really like this new canoe. 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 I really like this new c Pick him up, break him over your knee, Batman and Bane style. Dude, Floki, I know you got it in you. <laughs> While we've been talking, I've killed your entire family. Right. All your I'm literally fucking with this no fire. e v e r y o n e I prepared the slaughter ahead of time. No,、well, they're making a bonfire. Getting big. So, yeah, we weren't back at the farm. We were still here. Checks out. Jumbi, a yoika. Huh, hiko. Yare. You know, I was kind of finding myself upset that there's no, like, Thorfinn Einar stuff yet, but. Honestly, the last episode left on a good note to transition to another story. There's. It's the Thorical signal. Oh my god, is it? Yep. Here it comes. Oh, that's not local. You've got your land surrounded, maybe? ヨと戦うとはこういうことだ。想像するがいい、エアドリク。たった今、マーシアは灰に帰した。<笑> It's all just a dramatic prop for him. <笑> There's a lot of fires. That's a lot of fires. わかったか。ヨがその気になれば、貴様らを焼き尽くすことなど造作もないのだ。My man said cleanse it with fire. Damn. エセルレットの首を差し出して安寧を変え、それが利口だ。<laughs> Yo, why he looking like Ken from Street Fighter? That's right, Flo. He looks like Guile. Oh my、It、god, you're so right. Viking Street Fighter, give it to me now. Boat Fighter? <laughs> Took him a year to get done. Two years. 
Let's so, count the beheading of the king as the start point. No, no, I'm talking that conversation as the start point. Okay, then yeah, about a year. エセルレッドの死後、その息子エドモンドが王位を継承する。エドモンドはエセルレッドの後を継ぎ、クヌート軍を王位に苦しめ、前線するも。7ヶ月後の同年11月、野望を呼ぼつする。<笑><笑> But the third one, the third one that died of illness, that was the real one. The illness was Thorkolitis. Biobotsto <laughs> <laughs> oh, edgy cape. This is the cape my father died in. Progressively less messed up faces. Right? Ten eighteen. Well, I know why there's going to be a time skip now. Isn't up. that literally four years after we, the end of the last series? We already did the time skip, Griff. The episode started at ten seventeen. We time skipped a year. After the meeting, for the first oh. king to die. Wait, mm. did the sh last show end with ten sixteen then? No, I think it ended. Well, yeah, it must have. According to that comment. Yeah. yeah. I thought it ended in fourteen. I must have missed. A Although that same there. commenter said <clears throat> it, the sh the anime doesn't say it, but it literally just said a year later. So. Mm. Yeah. Still, we got all of our Canute backstory. We know what's happened in the world, and uh, that Canute is ready to go ahead and do a new adventure now. The Boy. adventure of running England, the worst place in the world. I sure hope this Danish England lasts. You know what? <laughs> I, I think it's worth a shot. Give the Vikings another chance, England. We know you're going through a lot right now. You know what? Give it another shot. So, are we going to pick up a year later at the farm, then? I think so, yeah. I think that's the intent here. Yeah, I Because we got to keep the two timelines and sync if we're going to reintroduce all of our characters to each other. Okay, so how do you think that uh, Thorfinn's going to be after a year with Einar saying, hey, stop being depressed? If we get a uh, next time on, as we do sometimes. Oh, true. Sometimes. Oh. True. Oh, look at that. Literally all oh, yeah. Up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> they won't let you use the horse. You told us that in episode what, two? One. Right. One or They're two. They gotta buy one. They don't have they the really money. What, what, what whiplash? We go from our handling your PTS streams to backstory of the war in England where uh, Canute wins, and then back to the farm where just like, we're going to buy the horse today. Do you think it's possible <laughs> that you're the first person to say that? PTS <laughs> dreams? No, I don't think I not. No. PTSD, PTS dreams, you just turn the... <laughs> I'm going to Google it right now. Yep. Oh, uh, actually, there's a book called PTS Dreams Transform Your Nightmares from Trauma Through Healing Dream Work by Linda Yale Schiller. Well, I gave you a chance, Griff. Uh, they beat me to it. How am I going to monetize this now? Time skip. YouTube. Shout out to Linda. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Linda and people who actually do psychiatric work. Linda's just Griff's pen name. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's right. I don't have a computer science degree. I'm gonna have a psychology degree. I've been playing you the oh, whole time. My hold up. No, I would believe that though. <laughs> Especially because you've I never helped us. I didn't even know you had a computer science degree. Especially because you've never helped us with any computer stuff. <laughs> or computer stuff. science, not IT. You've literally only ever talked about narrative shit. And not once have you talked about a computer thing. I also have a degree in Russian literature. Ah, the, the, <laughs> I can say anything and it could be true. But hey, speaking on the episode, I appreciate that we got to see exactly how Canute rose into power instead of just later on we see him. And it's like, yeah, no, I'm king. Like, it could have been assumed that, uh, you know, he just kind of took over when Askeladd killed his father. But hmm. I kind of like this whole, hey, there was someone else. And uh, here's Canute playing a little more shady than he used to to get where he's going. Well, no, he did take over uh, when his father died. <laughs> this is a oh, yeah, he did, but there was like a rival for king. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this is a the English. The English. He's fine. He says this is my territory, and they're like, "No, this is our territory." And that's the whole argument he had with that guy there at the end. Is look, yeah. I'm just here to settle dispute. You think you're fighting to get me off of your land? I'm saying this is my land, and you need to take the knee. <laughs> right. And I, I like that this new canoe is imposing and intimidating in his calmness and his passivity it's it's interesting to see a man who is strong like that but isn't mm -hmm. you know throwing his muscles around like Thorkel. well i mean it's what Thorkel was saying is that without all of that shit back behind him canute is nothing he's still a nobody mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i do sort of worry that we skipped over like a lot of things that could have been interesting you know, it's the story thing, like, is this the most interesting time in your character's life? And I'm thinking, like, it aren't, wouldn't a succession war be basically the interesting thing here to watch? Well, here's uh, the... Uh, here's but the... also, I guess, like, it shows, like, Canute has changed. There's nothing he needs to grow additionally in his journey here. He's where he needs to be. Here's the thing, Griff. If you feel like we skipped over something important, crack open a history book. It's there. <laughs> Yeah, anything that I'm not getting, I'm just assuming that my lack of historical knowledge will fill in the blanks. Mm. If I decide to run a Google search, which I won't. Well, I mean, apparently, yeah. Thorfinn's real, and Canute is real, so... Well, Canute, Canute we knew was real pretty early. I went and looked him up, remember? Yeah, that ugly bastard. <laughs> that ugly and, but bastard. We thought, th we thought Thorfinn was fake, and it turns out, again, statue of him in what? I forgot where. Detroit? New York? Something? Um... I can't recall. I could scroll through the comments and check, but... So that's right, commenters. If you have a favorite battle from Canute's uh, a war against England to claim it, go ahead and post that down in the comments below. I'll read it. It's in Philadelphia. Yeah. Also, it seems likely that the comments would just respond, Mercia. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only one we saw. But you're supposed to go and research. Come on, everyone. Bring us that research. Show off your history majors. Yeah. Show us how well it. you can manipulate chat, GPT. <laughs> I'll come back with a chat, GPT, history of England. <laughs> Five paragraph essay, Times New Roman, 11 point font, single space, double sides, 10 pages. By next I week. want chat, GPT, GPT to say like, oh, that sounds like an English assignment. I can't help you with that. But here's what I would write. It is an English assignment, isn't it? <laughs> Champion GPT no, no, would never no, say no, anything no, like no. that anyway. <laughs> it does all the time, though. So it funny. doesn't. It'll just do it. It doesn't say that sounds like a... Mm -hmm. Sure, I can do that. I've gotten ChatGPT to tell me it wouldn't do something, and then have it do it anyway. So, I any last need to get some kind of hybrid ChatGPT, Microsoft Word <laughs> Clippy hybrid, you know? Oh gosh, it appears that you're writing an essay about uh, Vikings. Would you like to go ahead and experience that yourself? Oh. All well, right. You know, this episode is pretty interesting. I like seeing how Knut's handling his business now. Mm -hmm. He's uh, He's come a very long way in a short time. I'm still curious, like, how he's going to reinsert himself into Thorfinn's story here, but you know what? We got plenty of time to find that you out. really shouldn't. He really should never interact shouldn't. again. Oh, well, he shouldn't. Should really, just let him retire. We should, at best, get like a divergence of stories where we just keep catching up on what Canute's up to, because I don't understand 
Now follow me. I don't understand how we're gonna get to Vinland and still have to care about the King of England. <laughs> um... How is Canute you know, going to remain the king I mean, of England and be a viable character we need to follow if at some point in the story we get to Vinland? It won't be the only time in history a bunch of people going to America still have to care about the king of England. That's why I specifically just prefaced the last time, Griff. I said <laughs> how he's going to remain the king of England and all be right. a main character. I think in that case, I think we're all done here for today. This has been Stone Face Reactions. I'm Griffin. That's Theta. That's Shy. Or that's Shy. You just did the same thing in reverse. All right. That's Theta. That's Shy. And we'll catch you next time. See you around. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching another Stone Face Reactions. If you have an idea of another video we could go ahead and watch, go ahead and put it in the comments down below and we'll add it to the wheel. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and let us know what you thought about this video and what parts you liked. And until then, we'll see you next time. Is this too goofy?